From time immemorial, human dreams and riches have traveled the distant seas. The vessels that carried them wove the threads of humankind. These magnificent adventures on the high seas often face tragedy and shipwreck. The waters worldwide can serve the remains of their misfortunes. These priceless human footprints are part of our common heritage in the same way as heritage on land. Underwater cultural heritage means all traces of human existence having a cultural, historical or archaeological character which have been partially or totally underwater, periodically or continuously for at least 100 years. Shipwrecks, sunken ruins, and underwater caves have long been protected and secure under the waves. Advances in technology have made the underwater world more accessible, and therefore brought these precious archaeological sites within reach. Archaeologists are now finding unique traces of the history of humanity in the waters of the world. However, the lack of legislation, of little consequence in the past, is today a major source of danger to these valuable sites. While many states have acted to strengthen the protection of their heritage on land, their underwater heritage remains, for the most part, unprotected. The temptation to pillage and sell recovered treasures now exposes underwater heritage to the threat of destruction. In 2001, UNESCO adopted the Convention on the Protection of Underwater Cultural Heritage, designed to afford the same protection to archaeological sites underwater as to heritage sites on land. It proposes a framework for collective action against pillage and destruction. It also promotes underwater archaeology as well as public awareness. In creating the means of recognizing and protecting the submerged traces of human endeavors as common heritage, UNESCO invites the international community to participate in the task of building our collective memory. This is the sole purpose of the 2001 Convention. It aims neither to regulate the ownership of underwater cultural heritage, nor to interfere in any way with the sovereign rights of states. Nothing in this convention shall prejudice the rights, jurisdiction and duties of states under international law, including the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. The existing Law of the Sea, including the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, recognizes the sovereignty of all states over their territorial waters. Beyond this zone, the rights of states diminish gradually towards the high seas, where states have jurisdiction only over their own vessels and nationals. The 2001 Convention observes and does not modify the existing law of the sea. Within this legal framework, it provides for cooperation among states to find legal solutions to protect underwater cultural heritage wherever it is located. By ratifying the convention, each state party undertakes to make use of its own sovereign rights to prevent the looting of archaeological sites and to cooperate with other states' parties to this end. Beyond territorial waters, the necessary cooperation is facilitated by the designation of a coordinating state responsible for monitoring, safeguarding actions and interventions on behalf of all cooperating states' parties. The 2001 Convention is a blessing for archaeologists. Before the 2001 Convention, marine archaeologists worldwide have been fighting treasure hunting for decades. Treasure hunting is incompatible with the protection and beneficial use for humanity of these types of cultural resources. 
This convention is a legal instrument of great importance and an irreplaceable ally. The convention prohibits the plundering of what it identifies as the common heritage of humanity. The waters link civilizations since they served to carry ships that connected communities around the globe. The remains at the bottom of the seas are therefore of particular importance to the world community. Moreover, each wreck is a time capsule, providing a dated snapshot of a precise moment of a civilization, a peerless archival record. The 2001 convention stipulates that preference should be given to the preservation of underwater cultural heritage in its original historical context. Artifacts may of course be recovered for scientific purposes or if the site is genuinely endangered. The convention's goal is to safeguard the sites. They are to be explored only under the supervision of scientists, ensuring proper conservation. A wide range of specialists need to be involved in analyzing and processing discoveries. The convention therefore encourages the development of underwater archaeology and fosters the sharing of knowledge and technology. The 2001 convention also encourages international cooperation and provides for the training of specialists and the building of public awareness. Responsible, non-intrusive access to observe or document in situ underwater cultural heritage shall be encouraged to create public awareness. The 2001 convention opens up promising tourism opportunities. This convention demonstrates that underwater cultural heritage is a very important tool for economic development given all the new forms of cultural tourism that will necessarily develop around it. This heritage, so valuable for the memory of humanity, is also a powerful vehicle for intercultural dialogue. On many properly excavated, stabilized and protected sites, visits can take place as long as site integrity is respected. For example, in Egypt and China, underwater museums are being designed, and underwater archaeological trails already exist in the United States of America, Italy, Canada, Israel, Australia, and the Caribbean. Other forms of presentation, giving wider public access on land to underwater heritage, already exist and continue to be developed. Protection of underwater monuments is inspired by the same rationale that led to the protection of monuments on land, that traces of humanity's past must be handled with the respect they deserve, and must be spared the ravages likely to be wrought in present times. Underwater cultural heritage forms part of the heritage that humanity will leave to future generations. It is our duty to protect it.
underwater cultural heritage as part of humanity's legacy. Support the UNESCO Convention on the Protection of Underwater Cultural Heritage. <laughs>